Welcome back everyone, Grimer here coming at you again from the Zawa server. Don't know where I'm running, don't know where I'm going. I'm heading over here trying to get to where like the hippos were in that area. There's the big giraffe. Alright, so thank you guys so much for the uh, the uh, the attention you've been giving this series. Really appreciate it, it's pretty awesome. It, it kind of keeps me motivated to keep on going, you know, whenever you get to a series and you kind of like, man, I think I've done a lot of stuff. But then you see everyone, you guys are like smashing like button on stuff like this and you guys are watching this a lot. I've seen the viewership, I can see that kind of stuff, I have the knowledge. Uh, yeah, you guys are liking the zoo stuff, so I'm going to keep making it. Alright, so, uh, last episode. Alright, so last episode we did the petting zoo. I have gotten uh, only one comment so far on like what to name the animals. And uh, it's any mini miny, and uh, I'm not sold on it. I'm not sold on it completely yet. Uh, maybe, actually, I was kind of thinking about adding two more sheep there and naming them Ba, Ram, and You. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I don't know what to name the cow and the chicken though. Um, all right. So in today's episode, I think we need to another, add another exhibit. What do you think? I mean, that's what this is all about, right? Building a zoo. So let's uh, let's build a zoo. Um, okay, so we, we did the hippo exhibit, and that turned out really nice, and we've made this little bridge leading this away over to this island right here. Now, this island is supposed to be for the otters, and I think today would be a great day to actually make their, their little exhibit. Now, uh, otters like water. They pr they're like a, a mammal that lives in water, primarily. So I think I'm going to uh, keep that going, but I'm going to carry the palisade wall around, like a big like circle shape around this. And connect it up right about there or so. So it's going to enclose this this uh, this pen in completely. But uh, the the bridge here coming across is going to just basically rise up a little bit, and it's going to be like your viewing platform in the middle. And the exhibit itself is going to be all the way around this thing, so you can find the otters somewhere around here. You just got to look over the railing, and you'll find them eventually. So I'm thinking that's going to be the plan. I do have to do a little bit of landscaping here. Uh, like for example, I need to get the trees. Oh, I also took the time to repair all my tools. They all have mending on it And uh, I, I used my uh, my fish farm over there to repair them and that took a long 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 time um, I'm pretty sure we have like an XP farm somewhere on base or on base on uh, <laughs> this isn't a military base <laughs> Some yeah somewhere on post we have an XP farm. No, I, I think we have like an XP farm somewhere on the server um, But I don't know where it is off the top of my head and nobody was really on at the time, and so then I was like, you know what, I'll just use my ex my, my fish farm. That should work out just fine. Um, all right, so otters, I'm thinking, are probably going to get a lot of water and uh, a lot of stone kind of surfaces and stuff. Maybe a log to play around with and stuff, because I think otters actually, like, juggle stones. Like, they lay on their back and juggle stones. I don't know if that's a thing in this mod pack or not. I'm pretty sure they do in real life, though. Um... In fact, uh, in the area that I live in the world here, we actually do have otters in this area too. So it's kind of like I'm building a little part of home and adding it to the, uh, adding it to the zoo. All right, so I'm going to get to work on laying out uh, this thingy. Actually, I got to lay out the uh, the actual design for the palisade wall, and then uh, and this is going to be kind of like a, a standard thing that I've done many many times before. Uh, and then I'll uh, I'll touch base with you guys again in just one quick second. All right, there it is. The palisade wall is laid out, at least the pattern I'm going to go with. I think that should work out for containing the otters in here. I do need to bring the shoreline back a little bit because, like I said, I, I kind of really only want one bit of land for these guys, and I'm probably going to make that right here in the middle. And then uh, and then the rest of the stuff, I mean, I guess I could have some shoreline kind of touching up along the viewing platform so that maybe they can hug that too so you can see them there. But for the most part, I want this just to be a lot of open water so that they have plenty of room to swim around in. Now, I'm pretty sure otters can swim in this mod. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm banking on it, actually, because I'm putting a lot of water in this thing. But I am also only making it one block deep, just out of fear of uh, something drowning or whatever. So, um, now the, the, the painful part comes, where I have to actually build up the palisade wall itself. And I have to keep falling and breaking my legs. And uh, I have a healthy stockpile of cooked fish here to keep myself from dying. But I gotta build up this palisade wall now. Oh man, that's gonna take a lot of wood. I actually have to, uh, collected quite a few stacks of this stuff. I have more in one of these things. Yeah, there's more right here actually. And then I think I have some more back in our little hidey hole over there. Which, by the way, the hidey hole is probably gonna be disappearing here pretty soon. Maybe in the next episode or so, as I start working my way that away towards the reptile exhibit. Uh, I mean, the hidey hole will remain, but that uh, that shelter that we built when uh, when the wife and I first got here, yeah, that's gonna have to get torn down. All right, so let's start building this up a little bit and this is where it gets very repetitive and uh and my legs start to bust themselves like that <laughs> 
Just working on the wall over here and check this out. There's a penguin right here. Now we actually do have a few of these things, but I'm gonna grab another one because uh, who doesn't love more penguins? And bam, just like that. The palisade wall has been put up. Okay, so now I gotta start laying out how I want. Uh, I was gonna do like the land where the, I was gonna put land over here. And I was actually thinking about putting like kind of like an overhang building up like some stone right here and doing a little overhang here so that they have something to kind of go underneath even think about maybe putting a water feature in there or something like it kind of like a waterfall but i think they might swim up that and escape so i might skip that but what i should do actually is plot out how i'm gonna have the viewing area i think that might be a better choice so the viewing area like i said is going to raise up a little bit probably to about this level here one up one right yeah right about here i think that yeah mm. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah let me dig this back here and uh, let's see if I can't uh, come up with something that kind of looks nice. I'm going to grab the stone as is. I'm not going to turn that into cobble because I kind of want to use this for building. Um, obviously, it's going to be like a dirt path kind of design. That's what I'm going. Uh, the, the palisade wall and dirt path design is basically like kind of the theme of the park here. Uh, so I'm going to keep going with that. Now, as far as like adding, other than just making it like stone and water, and that's gonna be boring, I'm gonna rough up the stone a little bit, add a little bit of block variation in there just so that uh, it doesn't look like dull. You know, like it, it, if it was just smooth stone, I'd be like, ta-da, there we go. But see how like there's gravel in there and maybe some andesite if I have some, which I don't know if I do. I don't know what, I don't know where anything is. Hey, here's some more stone, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> um, do I have any anywhere? Cobble is another good thing to use. <clears throat> Here we go. This looks like my stone cheese. Yeah, the andesite. I do have that right there. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to sprinkle that in there, too, to make the stone kind of look a little bit more rough, you know, so it's not like just smooth stone the entire way. Uh, let's go ahead and zoot, remove this here. Uh, and is that going to be enough, or do I just want to go down? Do I just want to keep it going even? I could have it just go even right into the park. I kind of like having a little block elevation change, you know, it adds a little bit more detail to everything. Yeah, I'll, I'll have it go up one. All right, so now I have to decide where I'm going to actually have this thing go. So I do want to keep it about the path length. Ooh, I can hear the hippos. Hello, hippos. Hello, hippos. Are you enjoying your, your exhibit? You look like you are. Uh, that's Ashlyn and Jones right there. There's chilling in the water. Uh, and I also added like the, the mud and stuff into this area too to kind of sprinkle that in. I might do the same thing over here. Just to add a little bit of, uh, just to break up the gravel that's in the uh, in the water a little bit, you know? I just don't like it being just a flat texture all the way. It kind of looks meh. All right, so now I gotta decide where I'm gonna put this path. Um, hmm. Because I'm gonna basically add the path and I'm gonna make it be kind of like a little, little bit of a steep drop with a little bit of land around the base of it then. Uh, because I think that would look cool. Now, um, how do I do this? Do I carve out the side? Let's just carve out the side. It's gonna come up like this. And then switch the shovel. Somewhere, like, around here. Uh, and I, I probably have an end, yeah, right around here, actually. So, the viewing platform. Gonna be a little diagonal meh thing. Like, I, I don't mind having a little bit of an area here at the end. I'm trying to just get the shape down right now, actually. I'm, I don't mind having a little area here at the end, almost like a triangle shape kind of thing, where the path widens. Uh, and then it's like you can walk around here and see all of them. Yeah, like this. Okay, so the path comes in like, like a so. There we go, perfect. All right, so, and if you check on the minimap, you might be able to see it a little bit better. Yeah, see how it kind of makes this, like, it widens almost like a fist at the end of this thing, you know? That's what I'm kind of thinking. In fact, I might need to extend this out a little bit over here this way. That should work just fine. Oh, a tree just grew over there. I'm still growing spruce trees to, to gather uh, more wood for more palisade walls. In fact, if you look at the map entirely, this is actually kind of looking like a zoo. <laughs> I actually kind of like how the 200 subscriber park uh, looks, actually, in this. I mean, I almost wish I would have done the, all the pathways like that. That would have looked amazing. Although I do like the rustic look of everything. Um... All right, so what did I say? I said I had to uh, widen this just a wee bit also. I think it, uh -huh, something like that. All right, now comes the tricky part, because now I have to actually build the path itself, so I got to get rid of all this. Uh, build the pathway itself, and then, uh, and then get it to fit in here, and then start shaving off the land on either side of it. And my inventory is full, isn't it? Yes. Okay, 
Uh, give me a second to organize some of my stuff and uh, and do a little uh, little off camera building here. All right, the path has been put in. I know it doesn't look like much right now because it's not quite finished yet. It's kind of there. This doesn't look right, Holland. Something's not right here. Uh, let's just go ahead and slap that right there. That should be fine. Okay. Yeah, the path is in. It doesn't quite look right yet, but that's because it's not done. Okay. I mean, the path is done, but the viewing area is certainly not. Um, I have to actually carve this down uh, along the edge of the path. Quite a ways, actually. I mean, about two blocks or so. Um... Actually, some of this is just regular dirt. <laughs> uh, so that's not actually the path. Right here, this is the dirt. There it is, got it. All right, we have eyes on the hidden dirt. The hidden dirt that was there, okay. Um, all right, let me carve the outside of this thing here. And let's get the shovel. I need to move this around a little on my hotbar so I can actually get to it. There we go, perfect. Um, and then let's carve this guy back. Like so. So I'm kind of like molding out where the uh, where the viewing area is going to be here. Yep, just like that. All right, now let's get rid of this layer here, and then uh, I'm going to build up like uh, uh, some of the this stuff, spruce wood. Uh, <laughs> my my brain just blinked right there. Spruce wood, uh, kind of along the edge here, where I'm going to put the rails along the edge of it, also then, and then that's going to be your your main viewing area for. Uh, for the entire otter exhibit and then I have to work on the actual otter exhibit itself So this is still just kind of like the, the getting started mode right here. This is just the, the uh, Yeah, I guess uh, setting the canvas. Why is that thing here? I don't remember setting one piece of puzzle over here. That's kind of weird I don't think puzzles is over here naturally. That's a little strange um, yeah, this is just uh, getting the getting the canvas set for the painting itself. All right, so now this has to actually drop down another one. And that should be able to keep the otters then in the pen itself once it's dropped down two. Because they can't jump up that high then. And uh, I can go ahead. In fact, I might do it one more even. Uh, and keep it. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to do it one more actually. I got, I got a lot of landscaping to do to get this to, get this to work. Landscaping is something that you gotta do a lot of uh, when you're building a zoo, apparently. <laughs> Alright, now that I have that lower to the elevation where I was hoping to get it at, let's go ahead and uh, bring in the, the spruce wood. And we're going to continue this palisade wall to at least where it's going to uh, raise up one to keep the otters in place. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make this look all fancy-like. Yeah, I could probably get away with doing that at least once. I'm going to have to bring this back one, though. Something like that for right now. And this is only like a little temporary kind of thing to... Uh, to get this to the elevation change here, so I'm not going to keep the palisade effect going the entire way. Uh huh, something like that. Yeah, that should work just fine. Uh, one more up. All right, this is probably where I can wrap it up then, and yep, right there should be fine. Okay, so I got to do the same on this side. Yep, I like that. That should work out just fine. I don't really like how flat this is right here. In fact, I might uh, knock that out and just leave it kind of in recessed like that. See, I can't really, <laughs> I can't really have a way for them to people to fall in that hole there. So I got to plug that up. Now let's do something like this. People could technically parkour into the exhibit, but I'm going to trust that people aren't going to jump <laughs> jump into this. Uh, who knows, that could be a mistake. It's a lawsuit waiting to happen right there. Alright, like that should be fine. Let's do that. Uh, one more. Perfect, like that. Alright, so now uh, that should... Uh, yep, okay, that works out just fine. I mean, it's not the worst. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Now that should allow people to walk all the way over here. Now I do have to fill in like things like this a little bit. Uh, I need to add a couple of extra blocks there. Um, let's add gravel for right now. 
Uh, Alright, that should allow people to get to the viewing platform here. Now, the viewing platform is going to be made of spruce wood as well, but it's going to be uh, a little different because um, it's going to have the steel bars around it. Now, actually, if you guys are following along in the, uh, the Zawa Discord, if you've uh, become a patron of the of the Discord as well, and uh, you've followed along, you'll notice that uh, Soggy posted that they're going to be updating the pack to uh, a version of Minecraft that's in 1.16. It's going to be updated completely, which means bad news bears for my iron farm. <laughs> if that happens on this server, that means the iron farm is going to be uh, broken. So, uh, there are ways to make iron farms in 1.16. Uh, I've never really dabbled in them much, so I might have to look into that a little bit. Uh, because iron is extremely valuable in this mod pack. <laughs> it's almost like Pixelmon. If you guys have played Pixelmon, that, that one, iron, is, like, super valuable for creating all the, uh, all the Pokeballs and stuff like that. In this case, it's for making all the iron bars and the, the lamps and stuff like that. And, uh, I haven't actually gone mining since I first joined, joined the server because I have an iron farm, and it's great. I got all my, my diamond gear up and running, and that's all well and good. Oh, diamond gear. That's right. Netherite's going to be a thing, which means that uh, diamond gear's not going to be the best, and we have to have the best. We have to. Have to. <laughs> all right. Uh, almost done putting in all the spruce wood here. And then I've got to make a bunch of steel bars to go around the edge of this. Now, I, ha I can't uh, do this diagonal, and this is not a palisade wall, so that's why uh, I'm actually kind of doing this like a game of snake going around the outside of this, uh, because uh, this is going to have the bars on it, so they're not going to be going diagonal. And am I going to run out? Please tell me I have more. I have more somewhere. I know I do. No, not in that one. I think I'm going to run out of wood just at the end here. Yeah, I am. Dang it. All right. Well, I'll run back and grab some more. Parkour master, I'm free. <laughs> Hello, Melman. How are you doing, bud? Couldn't help but notice you were over here next to the fence. Thought I'd come say hi. Hi, Jeffrey, back there. You fine ladies, you. All right, I, I did grab some more wood, and while I was back, I also grabbed uh, uh, some mud and a whole bunch of these steel bars. So that should allow me to finish the viewing area for what I'm looking for anyway. Um, at least, at least the path part. I mean, I still got to do a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, the decorating, obviously, on the pen. But here we go. Look at it. I was just boom, boom. Got it. There we go. Uh, done. Oh, actually, you know what? I need to actually do these these corner ones too, because otherwise it's just not going to work. There it is. Perfect. And perfect. All right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, play uh, play some of these steel bars here. Uh, these got to go all the way around the exhibit, like a so. Now I am going to have to create a pathway in there for right now while I do all the work on it because uh, these are going to be in the way otherwise. Like that. All right, perfect. There it is. There's your viewing area for the otters. Now you can you can walk around and you can actually see them from any direction here. So this should actually be kind of a nifty little viewing area. I kind of like this one actually. Uh, but now I do have to wreck it completely because I do have to get in here. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's create a little pathway down here. Perfect, like that. All right, so now there's not enough water. That's one thing I, I got to point out. There's not enough water. There's a lot of dirt, and there's a lot of terrain that's just been carved out, and that's no bueno. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, – I got to get to work on doing a little bit of terraforming. The main bulk of the land, I kind of want to have bunts right up against the viewing area here and come out here just like how this peninsula kind of is, but I want it built up against the back wall here also. So – uh, I've got to go do some work. I got to get rid of these seeds. I got to wolf down some fish, and I've got to do some serious landscaping on this. So bear with me one second. I'm going to do a little jump here because I got to I got to turn on some tunes and get my head in the right space, and uh, and get kind of the rough shape of what I want this actual exhibit to look like. Thank you. 
All right, so here we go. I'm actually uh, doing a little bit of the decorating kind of on the inside of the uh, exhibit here. Uh, just uh, trying to get, I'm still trying to get the basic shape kind of laid out for what I'm looking for for this. Um, I got the, the land for the most part the way I want. I had to add a little extra storage here just to dump stuff out of my inventory because my, my backpacks are completely full again. But this is basically what I'm thinking about, actually having that center mass where it's kind of built up behind it. Having it drop down to basically the water level here and then having it built back up. I want to get rid of this grass still. I want to make this all basically stone. That's what I'm going for. So here's the water line. I do have to do a little jazzing up here because that looks ugly as all can be. Um, let's go ahead and uh, punch these guys out so that I can change. Ooh, that's stone actually. Fooled me. It's granite. Um, let's go ahead and fill those in so that they no longer look ugly. Got it. All right. So I do have to do a little bit of fine tuning around here, but this is the basic shape. So now it's all about the decorating and the detailing. I don't know if I'm going to even have a tree in here. There, there are shelters going to be back here in the rocks kind of thing, you know, where they can kind of hang out, uh, as far as like shade and stuff. And plus they're going to be swimming around in the water all day anyway. I'm going to add a little bit of land over here as well. In fact, I can build that up real quick. Um, something, not, nothing, nothing too super detailed. Something like that, actually, is all I'm going to really do for that one. Just a little bit of something, something. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I guess I could add a little bit of grass in here so it's not too crazy. But, um, like, otherwise it's going to look really boring, which is a stone. I do have to add some kind of foliage. Maybe I'll add, like, vines or something growing on the uh, on the palisade wall itself. Or even in this area, maybe. As long as I don't... See, my, my biggest concern is that I'm actually giving them a way to get out of the pen now. If I, I I did this little number right here where they can't really do that, so I'm not really worried about that. And over here, there isn't really a way to get over to that thing either. So I think I should be good there. I don't think they can get out over on uh, anything here. I'm not gonna be putting them on top of this, obviously. All right, so let's get uh, let's get to doing some uh, some detailing here. Give me one one quick second. All right, you guys, I've done a thing. There's the, there's a thing that's been done. <laughs> okay, I got a little carried away. I really went build crazy, and I kind of finished it. I'm, I'm trying to think about what I, I was going to add mud, but I decided against it and just added dirt to the to the water instead. I, I think that looks uh, I think that looks just just fine. I think mud is too swampy, so I got this will work out just fine. Now there's a little bit of shrubs right there. There's not much. In fact, there's another little patch back there. The greenery is a little scarce here. There's not a lot, and I kind of like that. In fact, uh, um, let's get some bone meal out here. Let's see if we can't add a little bit of grass to these. Uh, these things. I don't want to make it go berserk though. Um, something like this. Not not much. Get rid of the flower. I don't need that there. Uh, yeah, this is basically it, I think. I don't really know if I want to add any more to this. Um, I think this is probably just fine the way it is. Uh, now, there is one thing that's missing though, and that's otters themselves. <laughs> I need to need to actually add, um, add the little creatures in here. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Yeah, I think adding a little bit of grass there helped out a little bit to add a little bit more to it. Now, leave the double grass right next to it there. I think that's fine. All right, so now I... Well, I don't want to plug this up quite yet because I need to actually get in here to put the otters away. But, um, yeah, I think that's probably pretty good for a uh, for an otter exhibit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Um, let's just drop that someplace. I got to move this chest also. That's not going to stay there permanently. But, yeah, an otter exhibit. I think that's pretty good. Now, I need to go get the little guys. Let's go Let's go back to the base. Let's go take a walk through the zoo. Um, and go see... Oh, hey. The, the demon-sounding laugh. That means I'm passing by the hippos. Uh, remember, keep your arms and legs away from the fence itself. Because the, uh, the hippos might eat your leg through the bars. <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to see the, the animals around. It's kind of fun. Let's go take a quick peek before we go back and grab, uh, grab the otters. Let's go take a quick peek. At some of the other animals. Make sure they're all safe and sound, to be honest, because I actually haven't checked on them in a while. There's one up there. There's one of the beavers up there. He's a, this is Nor... Nah, was it Norbert and Daggett? I think this is. I just got a, I don't know where the other one is. Where's the other one? Hello? I see you peeking from around your... Uh, around your... Uh, the beaver dam there, but where's your, uh, where's your partner in crime? I'm going to take a peek in here real quick and see if... Uh, if I can get eyes on the other one. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Oh, there, there. There's Norbert. There's Daggett. Hi, you guys. How's it going? I actually don't know if you're guys, to be honest. I, I, I kind of forgot whether you, you chicks or not. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and uh, block this back up. Like uh, so. All right, let's go check on the meerkats also. 
There's a bunch of them in here. No more water. So actually, no, I could probably just quick rough some of this up here a little bit for him. Get rid of where the water actually, that's where the water used to be. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect, got it. Hi, Shakespeare, I thought you died at one point in time. All right, so I am going to need, uh, I'm going to need names. Now, I don't know how many otters we have because I'm pretty sure the, my wife caught them. So, like, <laughs> I should do something here. This looks kind of blah. Um, I like how this looks, actually. This, this turned out pretty good. In fact, that little fountain here would be great if it weren't for the fact that there's a fountain right here, so I might just leave it. Uh, I need names. Oh, let's go get the otters. I need names uh, for the otters. So down below, if you guys can let me know what names you want these otters. Uh, as soon as I, t I figure out how many I have, I'll let you know how many names I need. Now, otters. Um, I don't actually know any, like, cartoon otters. <laughs> like, I've been basically naming a lot of these animals after cartoons. And I don't know any cartoon otters, so I'm a little confused as to what to name them. Let's see, otter, 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 otter. Let me give me a second here, let me figure out where the otters are. Aha, otter, right there, uh, small clawed otter. We actually have two of them. Okay, so I need two names. I need two names uh, to go um, to go with these otters. Now, I'm not gonna place them in the exhibit yet, okay? Because I wanna get, oh, look at that, it's turning nighttime. I wanna get your guys' names for these things, so please feel free to leave down in the comment section down below uh, what uh, what name you want me to name the otters, and uh, and I'll comb through them and pick my favorites, and voila, we'll go with that. Uh, so you guys actually are kind of in charge of naming a lot of these guys, actually. I'm kind of taking liberties with some of them and guessing on other ones and trying to figure out what I should name these. Uh, there's a lot more animals to come, so uh, get a list of names if you can. Uh, <laughs> get, get them together, because I'm going to need them. All right, so the otter exhibit is just about finished, I think. I just have to seal it up. Uh, like I said, I don't have the otters actually in there yet, but that's all right. It's all right. They'll, they'll, they'll make their way in there. Creepy hippo sounding. Ooh, those things kind of freak me out, not going to lie. Um, I also will remove this uh, this uh, chest off camera here, too. So, all right, I got two small clawed otters. In fact, if you want to see what they look like, let's go ahead and see what they look like. I don't think these things will attack me. I don't think otters are aggressive. Look at that. They're adorable. Bam. Oh, one's a little bit bigger. Let's see. Uh, actually, I suppose I could tell you guys if these are male or female. That might help with your names. One of them is female, and the other one is male. Okay, so we actually have male and female. Now, they both can swim, which is good, because I have a lot of water in here. So, uh, let's go ahead and scoop these guys back up for right now. And uh, I need names for those two. So, if you guys wouldn't mind, uh, down in the comment section, letting me know. Uh, one male, one female name for otters. I don't know what to call them. All right. So I'm thinking this exhibit is basically done. Uh, let me go ahead and seal it up here real quick. Hop up here. Now I'll get back down in here to place the otters themselves. But for right now, bam, that's it. Otters. Otter exhibit is finished. Alrighty, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here, though, because uh, I've been working at this, and it's getting late at night, and I have to work in the morning. I don't know if you guys knew this about me. I actually work full-time, <laughs> uh, and uh, and I did not get laid off for the, the COVID thing, so I've been working this whole time. And uh, so, yeah, I need to get some sleep. sleep. So let me know down in the comments section below what to name the otters. And thank you guys so much for watching and, and for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.